Okay, so here's the thing. I was going to sit down and do a whole review video on this protein powder, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling sitting down and doing a strictly product review type of video. Let me know. Do you guys like those types of videos? I'm not sure that I do. Sometimes I get bored just filming them, so I'm like, well, if I'm bored making the video, you guys got to be bored watching the video. In fact, I can just throw this in any other video. So I'm going to try this for the first time. Really looking forward to it. I've heard really good things. I don't know if I'm going to like it more than the peanut butter cup just because I am obsessed with that stuff right now, but I'll give it a try. So here's a consistency for anyone that cares about that sort of things. If you've been watching the channel, you know. The only thing I really care about is how does it taste. That is, uh... I'm going to try it a few more times before I make any alley and disclaims, but, um... I like it a lot. A whole lot. If this broccoli tasted like that protein powder, I'd be pretty happy right now. Sorry if it's a little noisy in the background. I got my nightly feast going on. I figured I'd talk to you guys real quick while all that's cooking up. So hopefully you guys have been following along and you've seen the lifting that has gone on in the last few videos, which surprisingly hasn't been bad relative to the rest of my lifting. So bench went pretty good. Hit 275, which I was happy with. Deadlift, deadlifts hit a PR at 480. So tomorrow morning is going to be squats, and I'm pretty, I feel pretty confident just because, like I mentioned, everything is going well, and I think the one thing that's really helping me lately is just staying calm. Calming my nerves has probably been the biggest factor in making sure that I'm not missing lifts that I shouldn't. And I know that sounds like really easy, like, you'll just stay calm, but for me, it's not so easy. So this is kind of the nightly approach that I'll take before a big lift. I'll just save a bunch of food for right before bed, and that'll be kind of like my pre-workout meal because it's going on. 9 p.m. I'll hope to be up about 4, 4.20 ish tomorrow morning and then probably start lifting about 5.15. So that is the game plan for right now. So we just went with a few sausages, some baked potatoes. If you've never tried salsa and a potato, I think you really enjoy that. Great way to add a little bit more flavor and a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Well, now that I'm full, I guess it's time to get some sleep and it's hard to believe that tomorrow it's going to be my last day on the PRS program. After all these weeks, I'm going to miss it. It's going to be bittersweet for sure. I really enjoyed the program. I had a lot of fun. But hopefully we can end it off tomorrow on a high note. So that is the plan at least. Next time you guys see me, I'm going to be squatting. You're so give up on the battle, baby. So you're watching my last warm-up set of 365 pounds and it was not feeling too good. I would have liked that to move a lot faster. So moving into 385, I knew I was really going to have to focus and just grind through this session because I was a little bit beat up from the heavy benching and deadlifting earlier in the week, but that, that is to be expected. So 385 moved pretty good and 405 is a big mental barrier for me. Anytime I see 405 in the bar, I do psych myself out a little bit. I know I started talk, I talked about staying calm in the beginning of the video, so I knew that 405 115 pounds was going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm happy to say I was able to complete this rep, which is a PR for me. And you would think adding five pounds is not going to make that much of a difference. Am I giving myself away already? I'm just going to let you watch 420 pounds. I'm just going to stop there. Obviously not the outcome I was hoping for, but I am happy I was able to hit the 415 pound PR. And it was just, you know, five more pounds. The 415 didn't look that slow. I thought for sure I had the 420, but for whatever reason, maybe I was drained, maybe I just psyched myself out. It doesn't matter, I didn't hit the lift. So we got that out of the way with. I'm really pleased with the progress that I saw on PRS. If there's anything specific that you guys want me to review on that program, let me know in the comments below. Moving on into something different, I picked up a few things that you guys might be interested in. I figured I'd talk to you guys about it, just because quite frankly, the people that I talk to on a daily basis don't really care. And they, most people I know don't lift, so this wouldn't make any sense to them. But I ended up 
picking up some new deadlift shoes. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. These are Ani brand and they're very minimalist shoes. So they're very close to the ground, which are perfect for deadlifting. Now the main reason I wanted to pick up new deadlift shoes is just because the other ones I've had, the, the New Balance Minimus, are just really old. I've, I've been deadlifting in them for over two years and they're perfectly fine. I still really enjoy the shoes, but I just wanted to change it up, get something different. And that's about the only reason. I'll say I just put them on for the first time and they are extremely comfortable. The reason I was really drawn to these is because I think they're pretty fashionable and take that for what it's worth because I'm not the most fashionable person out there, but I would just wear these out. I mean, I really like how they look. They almost look like a skater shoe. So I'm gonna give these a go. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna wear them tomorrow in tomorrow's workout, but on Saturday, I will give them a try for the first time and let you guys know what I think. Unfortunately, I can't save you any money on these, but I'm pretty sure Nick Wright and Michael Corey both have discount codes for these shoes if you guys want to try them out, but you might wanna see what I have to say about them first, but maybe you guys don't care at all. Anyway, the other thing that I picked up were some gangsta rip wrist wraps, just because I've not heard anything bad about these. Everyone that has them really enjoys them, and I'm still kind of struggling with this wrist issue. Now, buying <laughs> better wrist wraps is probably not the way to deal with it, but it is what I'm going to try out. So I'm really looking forward to trying those as well. And some of you might be asking like, why are you just now buying this new stuff and why didn't you use it for your max lifts? Well, there's a very good answer for that. And really think about all the variables there are in training. I mean, from the amount of sleep, the amount of food, the quality of sleep, how you're feeling on a certain day. There's just too many different things and I am, I'm a control freak. So I try to control all the variables that I can. When I go into the gym, I always try to get the same rack. I try to use the same bar, the same weights, just so I can make as many constants as possible. So even something as little as different equipment could make a little bit of a difference. So that is why I chose to just buy it now and I will start using it in my next training cycle. And in my opinion, that's probably your best bet. So that is why now is really the time for me to start looking into some gear. So I'm really excited to try these two things out. It's kind of like when you get new toys on Christmas, you know, you just want to go play with them. So like I said, unfortunately, tomorrow is going to be kind of like a bro workout. I think I probably should deload a little bit. And I'm gonna take uh, like a few weeks to just not do any program workouts because I'm gonna be traveling in three weeks. So after that, I'll be jumping onto Garrett's program as I've told you guys about. So for the next two weeks, I'm gonna try to take it easy on my wrist and just do some things that I know aren't programmed in. But I'll, I'll talk more about that later. I don't wanna bore you guys right now. And tomorrow I'm gonna go in and I, I just feel like, I think it's because ever since I started taking that um, high volume pre-workout and everyone talks about how good of a pump you get, I wanna go in and do like a pump workout, if, if that's what even what it's called. Just like a high rep, broed out workout. It's been so long since I've done that. For the last week I've been doing one rep maxes, haven't even like broken a sweat in the gym. So that's kind of what I'm feeling like tomorrow and hopefully you guys will get to see some of that footage. You win somehow So give up on the battle, baby It's hard, I know Let the music take over, baby